Now at 11, sold for sex. A 13-year-old held against her will, forced into prostitution. It really is modern day, modern day slavery is the only way to put it. And that's not all. Police say this trio then forced the girl to work at a strip club. Tonight, child advocates say this is nothing new. And the suspects reportedly held the 13-year-old runaway captive and then exploited her. Even more shocking about this is sex abuse experts say there are more girls out there just like her. CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana is live in Miami Beach tonight with this story. Lauren? Cynthia, Rick, this 13-year-old girl now knows a very dark side of South Beach. She came here not by choice, but against her will, forced to dance for money. She probably saw very little, if any of. And tonight, three people are charged with human trafficking, and we're learning more about how these young people are becoming victims. Stay away from and have no contact with the individual. Held without bond, 18-year-old Dwayne Ward is far away from the 13-year-old girl police say he and his two buddies sold for sex. And in every sense of the word, it really is modern day, modern day slavery is the only way to put it. Ward, Vibert Jean, and Marlene San Vincente are charged with human trafficking. Investigators say the trio held a young runaway captive at this house off Biscayne Boulevard, forcing her into prostitution and pocketing her earnings. The police report says the girl was held against her will and was shown an AK-47 assault rifle and a 40 caliber handgun and threatened with bodily harm. When she eventually refused to work the streets for their benefit, investigators say her accused exploiters put her to work at Club Madonna, a South Beach strip joint. They say some 13-year-old girl was here. Well, I'm as surprised as you are, but I didn't know anything about it until Monday, I think, is when they came in here, the locals, and with a search warrant looking for paperwork and stuff. The warrant says the girl never showed ID to verify her age. Nightmarish. Don Thompson is the assistant executive director at Christie House, an organization dedicated to helping victims of sexual abuse and exploitation. She says traffickers give their victims a false sense of security to lure them in. They're going to offer the girls food, a place to stay, a sympathetic ear. And that can go on for weeks. Um, and then at some point, someone's going to say to them, now you need to make money for me. The 13-year-old victim is safe now. She's no longer dancing for tips at Club Madonna. But Thompson says there are more girls out there just like her. Really think twice before you're going into these strip clubs in Miami, because there's a very good chance that you're part of the problem with commercial sexual exploitation. Now, the owner of Club Madonna says he is cooperating with the state attorney's office investigation. If convicted, those three defendants for human trafficking would face up to life in prison. Now, interesting note, January is actually National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month. Live on South Beach, Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News tonight.